ovation. Pierre Capri. This woman takes a seat. You know, the Liberian Civil War has been characterized by brutality. From the onset of the Civil War up to this point, he has been in the vanguard of restoring peace to this country. And I live for in, in, in the apartment. Sometimes when my friends come around, I say, look, go to talk to that old man, let that old man rest. He always have the country at heart. What will become the future of this country tomorrow, the, the youth of this country tomorrow? As you can see, his age and his health condition, he stayed with us in this place. Before he continue his remarks, I want for you to give him a big hand clap. Thank you very much. July, right here. First and foremost, I would like to praise Almighty God, the Lord who inspires each and every one of us here to be at this gathering. It's in a demonstration that Liberia will continue to go forward, never. You know, the Quran tells us something. And it is interesting that I said, it says there's something that you don't like, but it's good for you. And there's something that you like, but it's not good for you. When the Civil War started this country, every Liberian was against it. Every worthwhile Liberian was against it. But the non worthwhile who are not far sighted like it. The short sighted, the by sighted people like the war. But in Liberia, we have a common saying. Every disappointment is a blessing. Prior to the Civil War, one of the 16 ethnic groups in this country never knew America or never listed America in their travel arrangement. We felt proud, we felt satisfied of being in Liberia and traveling in West Africa to make our living. But the Civil War opened the doors of the United States of America for our children. <laughs> Today, the presence of their, their presence in America is felt in every city, in every state of the great United States of America. We never expected that. And even our enemies, if they were taught, if they thought that that going to be the case, they could have ignored us instead of being selectively singled out for onslaught. But what is most impressive is that despite of your being in America, a land of germs, you have never forgotten your birthplace to Republic of America. The leadership of Amosa thanking the National Mandingo Caucus, thanking us. I think the only person who here deserves a thank is our son, Sad.
is that the Madingu has a maxim. And that is, if you lift your right hand up and say, I'm for the people, then lift your left hand up and say, the people are for me. You have placed yourself in that position. We want you to understand that what you have done is a great service to yourself, to our community, and to our nation. And Mr. what you are doing is a facelift, particularly for the Madingo Caucus, the National Madingo Caucus. The National Madingo Caucus was chosen and become a style of this body. The against Mandingo was at the higher peak. Otherwise, the intended name for this conquer was Mandingo Conquers. Because in Liberia, you have nine of the 16 tribes that I, members of Mandingo family, but these people were forgotten, so the targeted group was Madingo, and they decided to make their presence felt in Liberia. And since the coming into being of this organization, they continue to do that. So we don't need to thank them. You gave them your presence here, gave them a facelift. They are more proud than all of us. And of course, as your father, representing to your parents here, we are not only proud of you, but we are proud of those that accompany you to come for this great service. Others who are, have no connection with uh, Liberia, they are the, that should be considered as the best. I wafted people. If you visit hospital, you will see a millionaire laying down, not even thinking about the money he got or she got. Why you are wishing to be like him or her? You who got no food to the house. But you are helped her. You will be wishing to be like you. It happened to me in Ghana. I went to a restaurant. The food that I called for, I was not able to eat because I'm And a fellow came, he called for two of that, of that size. And the expo. <laughs> I told him, I said, you're not going to pay for this. I will pay. He said, what? I said, I want you to pray for me so that I can be like you. <laughs> and we're so happy. So we want to salute each and every one of you for your humanitarian gesture. And it is our prayer that this will continue. The only times we have to give to our brothers, our daughters, and our sons here is that if you did not receive a missile at the first visit, they would not have come here. They would have preferred of going somewhere. So we want to thank you and we want to ask you that any time they say they are coming, please stand and support them. Before your departure, we will make a proposal to you. And that proposal will help to make this annual visit in Liberia a perpetual one. The other guy us all and bless you.
Thank you so much. Good time. Give you a family to come and spend.